You're getting old. You should have stayed with the crowd downstairs. Jen, I didn't mean it. The boss is very disappointed. He's not happy at all. Please don't shoot. Please. I thought we were family. Then you went and got friendly with the cops. But we caught on to you. Before you told them everything, right? Isn't that? Yeah. yeah. Don't, Jen, don't shoot, please. No, no, don't shoot. Please. No. No. Bastard! <laughs> again, boss. That's a relief. It's a good thing that we stopped him before he could do any real damage. Right. Boss would be in real trouble if Johnny got specific with the cops about our cocaine connections and his daughters. You're right. Take a look at these. These are pictures of his two daughters, May and Lily. We don't have to worry about May, boss. Peter's going out with her now. Peter's a joke. We gave him a dummy business as a front for us, and he takes it seriously. The guy's useless. But he might prove useful to us. At least he can keep an eye on May and find out how much she actually knows. You're right there. I know you're still going with May. Her father, Johnny, was a troublemaker, so I had to eliminate him. I don't know how much May knows about our business. I want you to keep an eye on her and see if you can find out what she knows. What's that? You heard what I said. All right. Don't disappoint me. Yeah, sure. Oh, oh May. I'm sorry. I just forgot completely about our date. Forgive me. Please? still mad at me for forgetting our date. Wouldn't you be? You always forget. But look, May, 
I have to take care of my business. It's always your business. May, come on. I'm sorry. Let me try and make it up to you somehow. Whatever it is, it can't be that bad. I'll take you home. Come on. a little. Thought you and Peter had a date, so then what happened, huh? Did you go out with him? Sure. Oh, where'd you go, huh? Mm, a beautiful little park. It's just beyond the city limits. It's, well, you know, it's so beautiful there. Then we drove all the way to the top of the mountain. Oh, the flowers were so lovely. And the view was just spectacular. Oh, it was just so beautiful. <laughs> so you ate lunch, too? Oh, we ate lunch at a little hotel. Salad and the food was delicious. We had a really great day. You should have come along. Oh, sounds nice. I wish I had. Hey, Fonda. Oh, my boyfriend is calling. I'd better go now. bad for us then. If Johnny had given us more information, we would have nailed Beckman once and for all. That's right, but he might have told his daughter something. I want you to look into it. And something else. What's Jack. that? Beckman knows who you are. You should watch out. I don't think he wants a direct confrontation right now, but I'll be careful. Good. Global Publications, can I help you? Yeah. Tom, May here. Is your story ready? Almost. I'll have it for you tomorrow. Oh, my. Please be sure you do. I'll extend the deadline then. Thanks a lot, May. Sure. Talk to you later. Yes, Betty, what is it? The boss wants to see you. Thanks. How are you? Fine. Please sit. Please sit. You know, I'm impressed with your work. Thanks. I do my best. Yeah? That's good. I want you to handle our special project. Oh, Mr. Sun, I, I'm new here. I'm not sure I could handle it. <laughs> I'm sure that you can. I wouldn't give it to you otherwise. Just do your best. You can do it, all right? Yes, sir. Oh. This is something for you. Thank you. Goodbye. Miss Lowe? Yes, sir? How are you getting along with Peter? You know about Peter? He and I went to school together. In fact, we've been the best of friends for as long as I can remember. Small world. Yes, it's quite a coincidence. <laughs> so then you'll be my friend as well. I'm honored. So treat me like a friend, not just a boss, all right? Okay, then. <laughs> Her name's May Lowe. She's the daughter of one of Beckman's informants. Very good, soft. Right. 
I'm afraid his daughters might be in some danger now. So I want you to try to find out if she knows anything at all about Beckman's operations. Oh yeah, she's a real looker. <laughs> yeah, I sure do like that. I knew you would. Don't you worry about that, my good friend. <laughs> you know, the pretty girls can't resist me. Ah, you got away with the girls, huh? Yeah, it must be in my gene. I'll show you my technique. All right? Sure, it's a deal. I need a photographer. Come on. Mm. If you're the photographer, wake up now. Uh, I'll take him tomorrow. No way. If you want to get paid, you work today or not at all. Let me sleep a little longer. I don't believe this. Get up now. Uh, uh, I'm up now. Are you happy, for Christ's sake? If you don't take the pictures today, then we'll never use you in the future. You're wasting my time. So come on now. All right, all right, I'll go, I'll go. For God's sake, give me a break, will you, goddamn woman? And by two o'clock. Don't forget. Mm. Hmm. What? They fucked up. I see. I want them taken care of. They must not talk. See to it. That cop survived the attack. And our men? They're being taken care of. Don't worry, they won't talk. Boss, what about that cop? He'll die. 
There's no question about that, Chen. Yes, boss. He's yours. Frick, May has a sister, Lily. Apparently, Johnny favored her over May. He might have told her about us. I want you to bring her back to me. Yes, boss. Is it that time already? Well, I got out early, so I decided to come down here and give you a little surprise. Well, I certainly am surprised. Now then, let's go to someplace nice. Ooh! <laughs> yeah. Marty, you've got it, right? Yeah, you don't have to worry about it. Oh, <laughs> Checking in, sir. You wanted to talk. That's right. I'm setting up a meeting. I need you back here right away. Right. I'm on my way. Good. Important business. Is that what you're going to say? I'm sorry. I promise I'll make it up to you. Really, I'm sorry. Jack, I'm glad you could come. You're a cop, Jack. Why would you want to talk to me? That's what I want to know. I want to talk about your father. You do? There's nothing much to say. Did you know what business your father was in? It hardly matters now. He's not here after all. I'm sorry, but did he tell you anything before he died? Listen, Jack, or whoever you are, he was a good dad to me, and there's nothing more to talk about, okay? Lily, please try to understand that I only want to protect you. You see, your life might be in danger. Okay, then, but I don't need or want your help. Very well, then, but if you ever decide that you want to talk to me, do call me, okay?
I'm coming. Who are you? I'm sorry to bother you. My name is Peter King. I'm just a friend of your flatmate. Ah, oh, we meet at last. That's right. But is she at home? No, she's out. As a matter of fact, I thought she was with you. She didn't happen to tell you where she was going, did she? Or when she'd be back? No. No, she didn't tell me. Well, anyway, thanks a lot. I just want to keep you here till all this crazy business blows over. You bastard! Take her away. <clears throat> Move it. Chinese back, but he failed, sir. The cop is really tough. Let me go and take care of him. All right, but make it good. I'll go. Right, boss. Hmm. How's Peter doing? Has he found out how much May knows? No, he hasn't. That son of a bitch. Call him up and push him a little. Get him off his ass. Yes, boss. Yes, Miss Lowe speaking. I am downstairs. If it's okay, do you want to come down? You know, I went to your house last night when I finished work. Fonda told me so, but I was out. So where did you go to last night? Business. You don't have to worry. You had to work late? Not really, but I don't want to talk about it. Neither do I. So let's talk about your dad. What about my father? I want to know how much he told you. I want to know how much you really know. You're so strange. You're being ridiculous. Why bring my father into all of this? What does he have to do with us? Something's going on with you and I want you to explain it to me. I have a right to know what's going on with you. This isn't the right time. Damn you, Peter. Don't you even care what's happening to us? I don't believe you. So you don't trust me anymore? I lost that trust. Long ago. And what about me? I'm beginning to lose my trust in you, too. Do you tell me everything? No, you don't. You won't even talk to me about your father. And you think I feel good about all of this? Call me when you decide to put your trust in me again.
Welcome back, honey. Hi. Did you have a good trip? It was marvelous. I've got some mail for you. Look at this. It's from Johnny Lowe, my best friend. I'll bring you some coffee. Thanks, hon. Hi, Lex. This is Johnny. As you're listening to my voice, I'm probably dead. A list of names in that memo book enclosed with this tape are people that my boss, Tharis Beckman, supplies drugs to. Specifically, heroin and cocaine. Yes, my friend, you don't know it. But I work for an organization that deals with the illegal smuggling of drugs. The plastics company is only a front. My daughters don't know anything about it. But I'm afraid that Beckman still might try to harm them. Please look after them as a last favor to your friend. And this information should all be given to a cop named Jack Kelly. I owe you a lot already. This adds to my debt to you. Sorry I can't help. She went over to her friend's house, I think. I don't know when she's due to return. Are you awake? It's you. Out late and getting drunk again, were you? What do you think you're doing? What? Since when do you care what I do? Go and look in the mirror. Take a good look. You won't like what you see. How do you know what I look like? It's all too long since you thought of me. May. Don't talk to me like this. I want to know the truth. So tell me. Where do you go at night time? Tell me. I was out, that's all. I haven't done anything to be ashamed of. So stop bothering me now. You seeing someone new? He's a photographer. Anyway, I'm sure that you don't know him. He picked me up. After you left me, stranded in the quarry. You happy now? What's that? A new boyfriend? Yes, I have a new boyfriend, of course. That's because my old boyfriend only cares about work. He doesn't give a shit about me. He just uses me when he wants. And the rest of the time he keeps me locked in a cage. Only an idiot would stay with a man like that. Now, stop it. You don't really know what you're saying. And you don't really mean it. So what's his name? So the cat's got your tongue, huh? Oh, shut up. It's none of your concern. I suppose you want to get revenge. Well, you can forget it. Oh, yeah? You can just leave him alone. You got it all wrong. I don't want revenge. Sure you don't. Something has changed about you. Peter, I don't know you anymore, so get out. All right. Remember the good times. Now it's all over, and that's that.
Sarge said he'd meet us here. That's what he said on the phone. What does he want? Eh, uh, who knows? really enjoys doing business with you and Mr. Beckman, and she would like to meet you herself. She'll be here soon. Well, I do my best. You don't have to go through me anymore. From now on, she wants to deal directly with you, and that is something. <laughs> Come in. Uh, please? Oh, here she is now. I guess my job is finished. I'll leave you two now. Miss Sims. I'm Peter King. Nice to meet you. Mr. Lee has already told me so much about you. Thank you, Mr. Lee. You can leave us alone now. Yes. Goodbye. I'm Miss Sims. Please have a seat. Mr. Beckman has chosen the right guy. One who's got a good eye for details. I like that in a man I do business with. And I'm quite sure that our business will greatly increase in the near future, aren't you? Not only that, but I'm willing to do almost anything to ensure that it does. I think you agree with me. We are going to go far, aren't we? What do you say? Why don't we go out and have ourselves a nice dinner to celebrate? To celebrate? Yes, to celebrate all our coming successes. Okay, then we'll celebrate. But let me buy. All right, then you can treat. Come on, let's go. Uh. Excuse me. Oh, my. How are you, Larry? Did you want to see me? Well, I didn't want to intrude. There's something I want to talk to you about, though, May. Have you got a moment? You've entered my private studio. No one's allowed in here. I'm sorry about that, but I need to see May. Forgive me. What is it? Can we talk somewhere else? Say, Jim, can you lend me your office? Yeah, all right. I didn't tell you to kill just any cops. I told you to kill Jack Kelly. I'm sorry, boss. We almost had him. Almost doesn't make it. Let me have another chance, boss. Don't come back until he's dead. Is that clear enough for you? Got it, boss. Freddy, I want you to bring in Lex Burns for me. Lex Burns? That's right. He's a small businessman, but he was Johnny's best friend. I see. 
I want to see what this guy knows. I don't think May knows anything, so she is safe for the time being. What about Lily? We'll hold on to her for a while. Let's see what develops when I talk to Lex Burns. All right, I'll bring him in for you. Good. Hey, where are we going? Don't worry now, Peter. Just trust me, okay? What do you have in mind? Nice and quiet. I'm sure you know what I'm thinking now. Marty, this is Peter. Yeah, I'll be a little bit late. Yeah, I see. Thank you, then. Bye. I told you to trust me, didn't I? I want you, and I want you now. <sighs> Sure. Good. Now listen. No problem. If you need me, you know how, you can get in touch with me. Right. Okay? Bye-bye. Come in. You Jack Kelly? That's right. What can I do for you? I only need a minute of your time. I'm Lex Burns. You don't know me, but I was a good so friend of Johnny I? Lowe's. I think you'll be interested in this.
Hello. Mr. Burns? Yes? My boss would like to see you. Who's your boss? You'll know later. If I don't come, what can you do? Well, then we'll have to force you. We're just on your tail. Right up, May. Hi, it's good to see you. Oh, what's this? It's a present. I think it fits. Just try it on. Oh, I don't know what to say. Just try it on. Oh. Don't you remember? It's your birthday today. Oh, I always forget. I knew it. Here, I have some more for you. Oh, May, you really shouldn't have done this. I've been thinking a lot about this. May, I want to marry you. May, I really love you. I'm well aware that this may be a little bit too sudden for you. I was married before. I can't lie to you. Are you angry? Why should I be angry? It didn't last too long. It didn't work out just wouldn't work out. We loved each other a lot, but it just could not work, ever. Why was that? Well, I really don't know. She had a past that she just could never let go of. A past? It's really not important. About my proposal I just made to you. You really don't have to answer me right away. It's okay. I would like some time. So, I want to know about Jimmy, from your point of view. I don't know. He's so complex. I guess it's his work, being a cop. A cop? You mean you don't know? But it's not just him, it was me too. You know, I had a boyfriend I couldn't forget about. Thank you very much. I guess I'll be going. Miss Lowe. I want you to take a little advice. The past really destroyed our relationship. He really is quite a good man. You should forget it, if there's a man in your past. Do you think you know what I'm saying? 
You really don't want to end up all alone like I am. It's sad when you grow old all alone. He's a good man, do you understand? I think so. I'm going now. Long time no see. You bastard. Johnny told me everything. You're a lousy scum. So he told you everything, huh? That's right. If you're smart, you'll go and turn yourself in before they come to get you. Ah, so it looks like you've been shooting your mouth off already. <laughs> <laughs> We get the hell out of here, that's what. But before we do, I have to settle the score with that cop. I'm sure Joe can handle it. All right. But he better not disappoint me like last time. Thought it over. Your proposal. You've decided then. We love each other. And that's the truth. Why, of course it is. And you really are sincere. I am. I know it. Then I accept. I want to be with you always. Oh, well, May. Thank you. There's one thing I must tell you about. What is it? I... I had someone who I was in love with. And I still can't forget about him. Although I do try. Jim. I couldn't lie, I just had to tell you. I'm very sorry. Why didn't you tell me before? Because that was before and this is now. What kind of an answer is that? And do you think that our love will be affected by it? I don't know what to think. And why not? I don't know. Why don't you? I don't even care that you're a cop. What? How do you... I... I went and talked to your ex-wife. Why did you do that? It's because I had to know. About you. It doesn't matter now. I haven't seen you for a long time, huh? How are you, Fonda? I'm all right. I'm just doing my best to try to make a living, you know. Yeah, that's good. What brings you around here? I just came for a drink. Oh, come on, you can tell me. Don't lie to me now. You can't forget about me, huh? <laughs> Here, have one. <laughs> la, 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 la. 
dead drunk last night. I was going to take you home last night, but I decided against it. <laughs> Feeling better? <laughs> yeah. And uh, I uh, paid for the room as well, so don't worry. Larry, I... I want to quit my job. Quit your job? That's right. I need to take a rest. Hey, but why? Because... I need to be alone. Then take some time off. 
But don't quit your job now. I'll send in my resignation letter. Goodbye. May? Hello? Hello? Shit. Who's there? told me you quit last week, so I thought we should talk. So what do you want to say? I want to know the reason why you're acting this way. You really don't know? I don't think that it's my fault, is it? Think what you want. Oh, May. I want to apologize for everything that went wrong. For everything that I said and did to you. It's too late now. It's not too late. Where do I fit in without Miss Sims? Look, there's nothing going on between us now. We're just good friends. I only have you in my heart, my dearest. Please, May. Come on. Forget about the past. We can start again. A new beginning. No, we can't. It's over. Who's there? Rhonda let me in earlier. I want to apologize. It's over. I know that I was wrong. It's too late. It's too late. Listen, I've been thinking hard. I've really been acting immaturely. I haven't been able to stop thinking about you. All I know is that I'm in love with you, May. Reconsider. You were right. And I was blind. The past shouldn't have any bearing on the present. I understand that completely now. Why did you come back? Because I love you, that's why. I know I was wrong. Come now. We can start again. I love you, May. Hi, Peter. Hi. You sound like you're in a happy mood. That's right. But you don't sound so good yourself. Linda, we're through. It just won't work. I've thought it over, but I just can't. Can't fall in love with you. Linda, I know it's hard on you. But we can't force things. Forget about everything. All right, we're just business partners. No, we're not. I never once really cared about the business. Then it's too bad. I'm really sorry. But it can't continue like this. Just let things go. It can't be helped. I love you. Don't you know that, Peter? Peter, stay. Don't quit now. I beg of you. Here, this is yours. No, you just can't go. No, you must stay with me now. I can't. Please understand. I don't want to hurt you. But I can't. 
Just let it go. I can't let go. You mean too much to me now. Don't go. Please don't go. Forget me. I'm going. Linda, I'll never forget you. Peter, wait. What do you think will happen if I talk to Beckman? some money, if that's what you want. If you want me dead, then go talk to him. Nice to meet you. I've never seen you around here before, I don't think. Oh, that's right, I'm you. Small talk later. Right now, I want you guys to go find and arrest Beckman. The names in that book prove conclusive, huh? Enough to put him behind bars for life. And Lily Lowe is missing. I think he might have something to do with it. We'll look into it. Now, why are you so late? You have a guest inside. His name is Peter. <gasps> why are you here? I... I was waiting for you. Forget it. I thought I made that quite clear. May, I think that you don't really mean it. I need you. You need me? Yes. To fill your spare time. No. You don't need me now. Look, I gave up everything, including my work. You're really all that matters. Can't you see that? I wouldn't lie to you. I love you, May. You make me sick. You're conceited. Don't play with my feelings. I don't want to get hurt anymore, can't you see? It's the photographer, isn't it? It's him, isn't it? It's not your business. You have no right to ask that. I do. I don't care who he is. I just want you back, no matter what it's going to take. Don't touch me! Get away from me! May, we have to start again. <laughs> All right. If you enjoyed that, hit me again. I hate you! <laughs> May. I want you to tell me if you really love him. You must tell me. May, I 
really have to know. Do you love him? Oh, God. Then why shouldn't I? Is there a crime against him? May, do you know what you're saying? Oh, yes, I know. What? I said, why shouldn't I love him? Oh, yes, I'm in love with him, but also with you. Why? Why is it always like this? I'm feeling so confused. I love you also there. What do you think about that? Oh, God. It's clear to you, if I could, I would marry the both of you. That's the way I'm feeling. You slut. So I'm a slut. You're really only a whore. Really? So you feel that way too? Good. All right, I'm a slut. <laughs> Take a look! Do you like what you see on for sale? Come on, who's gonna be first, you guys, huh? <laughs> oh, you really want his own? Isn't that the truth? So isn't it? Yeah! It is! And did you ever stop to think? You two are so selfish that you don't care at all about how I feel. You only care for yourself. Well, listen, I'm not just a pet that likes to hang around. I have feelings, too. But you don't know about that. And do you care? <laughs> no, you don't care. I'm a person, too. Am I supposed only to give? I'm a person who needs to be loved. But I don't think that you two know about that. I just can't stand it. It's always something you two want. But what about the things that I want? I really wish that I was a whore. Then I wouldn't feel the way that I do now. I can't just be a toy that you can throw away when you're tired. You two make me sick, you really do. You're wearing masks. And there's no real person behind them. When are you going to take off your masks and show me who you really are? I'm sick of all your lies. You don't know what I'm talking about, do you? Oh, can't you see what's happening? Is loving you such a crime? That you punish me by pulling me back and forth between you? It just isn't fair. My heart can't take anymore. I wanted to give myself to you, but your minds were somewhere else. It's like you were hiding your deepest thoughts away from me. I can't trust you anymore. You both had a chance, but now it's too late. There you go. Shit, no way. Ah, <laughs> uh, come on. Ah. Hey, uh, hey, right. hey. 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 Uh, get out of here. Go on. Get out of here. Go on. Go on. Go on. Hey, your turn. Come on. There. <laughs> come on. Where are you going to go, huh? Just any place away from here to start a new life. Well, then, I wish you all the best of luck. <laughs> I'll miss you.
I tell you what, I tell you what. <laughs> this is it. Come on. All right. Take that. Now, come on. All right, all right. Yeah. All right. Okay. Check out the girl. Okay. I heard Enjoying yourself here? Son of a bitch! Let me go now! No way. What do you want for lunch? <laughs> Come, Come on. on! Sit down. Come on! Hey! hey. Who's turn? Yours! All right. Come on. 